Okay, if you've noticed that when you run, your pelvis drops on one side, so meaning when you stand on one leg and you land and it drops like that, and you notice that one side drops down. Maybe you've noticed that on people in front of you when you run, their pelvis is dropping side to side. And I've got some exercises to help correct that. First one I'm gonna work on is using a band to do an abduction, so for your glute med, to try and work on abduction to get that stronger in a standing position. There's a dual purpose with that one. Then we work on a one leg ball squat, of course, because it's one of my favorites, but that helps you keep a level pelvis when you load on one leg and forces your glute med to work in this weight bearing stance, so it helps you with keeping your pelvis level. Then we work on the contralateral side, so the opposite side QL, strengthen that up, because when you drop down, then this side here is not working very well either. So we're working on strengthening up on the side of the problem plus the opposite side above the pelvis. And I'll explain that in more detail when we go through it. So first one you're gonna work on, and I like doing this first, the two hip ones I'd work on first and then work on the cure one. This one's pretty old school, but super effective to try and prime up that muscle. Now, like I said before, this is dual purpose. If I put the band on one leg like that, this is the one I'm moving, okay? I will stand on this leg, okay? Dual purpose meaning when I stand on this leg and balance, I'm using my glute med on my right for pelvic stability. On my left, I'm training my glute med in an open chain position, all right? So if I stand on my right leg, I'm actually doing both sides, they're just different. So you have to do this on both sides and flip around. But when you do this one, make sure that the leg that's moving is going to the side, but it's also going behind you, all right? So it's going out on a bit of an angle, like a 30 degree angle that way, and make sure your foot is not pointed out that way, okay? So keep it straight. If anything, maybe turn it in a little bit. But this leg here, you'll feel like it's working your hip on the side, your glute, if you like. The glute med is definitely keeping your pelvis level. You've just got to remember, when you run, obviously your pelvis drops, okay? So we want to make sure that you are training this like you want to run. You're trying to teach your brain the position is level here or almost a little bit above, not down. So when you stand on that leg, try and think about if you've got a mirror in front of you, you're trying to keep this pelvis, you look at the back knee here, you're trying to keep that level, not down on one side and not doing this, all right? So you keep it level or up a bit higher and then pull outwards. If you need something to hold on to, fine, but know that you're going to try and do that without your hands. So if your balance is really poor, it's maybe why it's dropping a little bit, is you need to start here doing this one, okay? And make sure when you come outwards, you're not tilting in the spine, okay? We don't want to be arching the spine. So you can only go as far as you've got range in your hip, all right? You're going to feel that in that glute med there. You're going to feel it in your glute med on the right, all right? They're, two, they're still both working. They're doing different jobs, though. One's in a closed chain position. One's in an open chain position. So just make sure you're not, your spine is not moving around too much. And then obviously flip around the other way and do it this way. So if I show you this way here, okay, you're gonna go this way. You might wanna hold on, you might wanna hold off. When you're doing, make sure that, like I said, your pelvis is not dropped. It's up here. And when you go out, you only go as far as you can keep level here, all right? So that's the first one. Now that's like pretty hard because you're doing it in a way that's like, balancing, which is good for your running. Once you've done that, you'll probably find that this is turned on quite well, which is good because then you're gonna go straight into my old fave, your one leg ball squat. This one here is exceptionally good for runners. So if you're a runner and you notice that pelvis drop, this is gonna really help you. Note though, you are stable when you do this, meaning when I stand my leg, because I've got the ball, I'm nice and stable. What you therefore can do is make sure that you don't drop your pelvis here, all right? So when you do a ball squat, meaning when I stand on one leg, as in the outside leg, take my other leg up, I wanna push my knee into the ball, of course, that creates that load into here. You'll feel that straight away into here, all right? What I want you to do when I train my glute med is when I squat here, if I let this knee drop down, I will create that angle that I don't want. The angle that you see you don't want. So the trick is, or the, the little tip, is keep your two knees together level here. All right, what that will mean is, you'll notice, if I do it wrong, the ball will move. Okay, I don't want to be doing that. If I keep the ball stable and still, I'll be doing it correct. 
Okay? If I keep my knees level, I'm guaranteed, because of my femurs, to keep my pelvis level. So when I'm in that position, I can really feel the hair going crazy. My pelvis level is there. Okay? So that will absolutely cook you in your glute med. And it's perfect, because that's exactly when you land, that's what you want that glute med to be doing. You want to be landing, keeping your pelvis level, not dropping down. Okay? So don't be, don't be surprised at that one. You get to seven, eight reps, you go, oh my God, I can really feel it. That's your weakness. Now, the harder you push into that ball, the harder the load. It's like putting weights on a stack, all right? The, the more you push there, the more you can tolerate it. So some people won't be able to tolerate too much, but it, you just push as hard as you can with that. If you haven't got a big ball like that, you can use something like a Pilates ball, so something like that. Even if you don't have a Pilates ball, pushing against the towel. But the more resistance, the bigger the ball, all right, the harder the resistance, the more load you're gonna put through it. So if you really wanna progress this, Definitely go to something like that, all right? So those are my sort of first two glute ones. Then you've also got to think, well, okay, when I'm dropping, I'm probably a little bit weak on my QO on that side. So it's the opposite side that you're doing. You are doing both sides, of course, because you're dropping both ways. But if some people who are dropping only on one side, then you really need to focus on the contralateral side. When you do a side plank, what I want you trying to do is be a little bit clever about it. So you can sort of progress this up. I'll give you two options with this. You can just do, a simple side plank like this, where you go from your knees, look after your shoulder, meaning that goes around the back of the shoulder, you pin it back, so you use your lat, connects into your back, long story. But what that'll do is give you more activation through your lower back. From that point there, you'll notice that I sort of did a bridge, or like a squat. I didn't sort of just sort of come up here, all right? I sort of roll back into a squat, and then push forward and up on an angle. So when I get to there, I'm straight down through there from my knees through to my here. Okay, I want to be in a straight line. All right. When I hold it there, and you've got to hold it there for a good 45 seconds, some people are weak, maybe 30, all right? But 45 is quite good. If you can get to a minute, that's even better. You will start feeling this on the bottom side, okay, where that QL and oblique on that bottom side is working harder than here. And that's trying to get one side stronger than the other. So if you've got a deficit on one side, that's really going to help. Okay? And it's one of the best ways to get that QL strong. Right? Static loading, because that's exactly what you're going to be doing when you're running. You are static loading, using that muscle to stabilize your pelvis and keep it level. Just make sure you're pushed right forward with your glutes. Okay? You're not sitting back. Okay? And you're not sort of dipped down. Now, that's your sort of first option. The second option you can do is turn that into an anti-rotation type movement. So... Grab your band again, and what you can do now is a push-pull with the side plank. I'll show you what I mean. So if I'm going to do it, say, in this position, I want to be on my feet now with my top leg forward. So think top leg forward, bottom leg back. Get this about sort of shoulder height. Come up into your side plank like that. Keep your knees bent like you're a runner. And what I want you to do is pull on that. So while you're doing your side plank for 45 seconds, you're now going to pull this during that time. What that'll do is create that to not just do a side plank and be stable, but also counteract the rotation. Because the band, when every time I pull this band, if I show you, I'll show you, I'll show you on a push as well. Let me show you this way, because you can do a pull and a push. If I push this way, the band force is trying to rotate me backwards, right? So without knowing it, if you say just stay stable when you're doing that, the right side of my spine is learning to counteract an external force. So can you imagine if you are running like that? That's the external force. And you see some people when they're running, Yes, their hip might be dropping, but also they're rotating quite a bit through their spine. This is going to help you sort of stabilize that up a little bit, stop leaking so much energy by doing that all the time, because that, you know, it's pretty hard to be stable here if you're rotating heaps because of this external force, okay? especially when you go fast. So that band there will give you that environment. When you push and you pull, it's like the running movement, okay? and that'll give you that sort of force production that you have to counteract. Then you'll learn a little bit more stability here, be a bit more stable when you run. So those two things combined, you imagine over time, you're most likely going to be less and less and less dropping the pelvis and rotating. So 
give those ones a go. That's my tip for today. See you next time.